Hi, this is Alan Weaver, talking about the stock portfolio technology to manage your investments class. Uh, if you go to the website that you got in the class, you will open up the file called stock portfolio, and you will have the spreadsheet here. What we're going to do here, we're going to do some formulas to determine uh, the prices of the stocks as well as go online to find out what the current values are. First thing that we're going to do when we click in here, if we click inside cell B1, it says equal today. I'm recording this on March 14, 2008. So any day that you open up, it will display the date. That way, if you're doing some hard copy, you will have that. Okay, we have to do a few formulas here. If we look over here, we have the SEC C codes here dates, number of shares, the price paid. And what we need to do in the spreadsheet first is to determine what we paid on the stocks. For those that, of you that do know Excel, you would multiply C5 times D5. So it's equal fifty-five, fifty. we spent. Okay, if we see those pound signs, it means it's too narrow, the column. I'll get rid of the decimal so we could see that there. Now, the next thing we want to do here, we want to get determine the current price here. We want to know how much our shares are worth today. As you can see, we bought these stocks a few different years ago. What we want to do now, really cool future here. I'm working with, working with Excel 2003 um, in here. It works the same with version 2002. And I have notes in the file that I gave you on how to do this if you happen to have Excel 2007. You're going to click inside cell A14. And what we want to do now, we want to get the current prices for the stocks here. And we click on data. We say import external data. And we say import data. And if you look over here, you can do different things here. You can also get today's currency. You can see how our dollar's doing. So we're going to double click on stock quotes. Now it says, where do you want to put the data? You have the option of putting it in a new worksheet, but I want it at the bottom here. And so it's in the existing worksheet. It's reflecting that cell there. I say, OK. Now I could type in the stock numbers or take the mouse and highlight, bring it down. And it's referencing this here. And the other thing, too, as you know, stock prices change in real time. You click on this box here. Do not click on that box down there. It will not work in this case here. It only works when you work with a single stock. We say, OK. We wait a moment. And it's coming up there, showing the stuff here. As you can see, this column got a little bit narrow. We just drag it a little bit wider. And it shows a bunch of information here. Um, it shows the last price close, the high and low for today, the previous close there, etc. Okay, we want to get today's price. So we click inside F5 and we say equal and we click over here. It's 3078. And we say okay. And then we pull it down. We want to determine the value. It's today's price multiplied by the number of shares we bought. We want to know what our gain and loss is. As you can see, when we bought this nine years ago for 55.50, it's now worth 61.56. So we have to subtract the previous price equal today's price minus that. And then I'm just getting rid of the decimal points to make it easier to read, okay? And then it shows that we had some losses here. Merck has not done that well. Microsoft, different story here. What they had is that they did split their stocks a couple of years ago. If you're going to do something like that, you might have to enter in a separate column for the previous thing here was 100. Now it's 200 shares. But let's just keep this as a really basic example. We want to know how many days it's been held. And what we have to do is to subtract the date purchased from the date today's date. And one thing, uh, a date is a value. So you're going to say equal. You're going to go up here. 
and then make it an absolute, press the F4 key, so it says equal B dollar one on here. Again, this is discussed in class, quick overview, review for you, that way if you're at home, you can do this. And then you subtract the B5 there, and then uh, if I were to widen this column, it looks rather strange here, I click on the comma. 3,000 days, okay? And then I can just drag that down. So it's showing the days that we've had it. Next thing I want to do, I might want to do some totals. I might want to know the cost, value, gain, loss. So you don't want to add certain columns like columns B, C, or F. The information is irrelevant. So I go into E12. You click on the sigma key. And then with the white cross, highlight the correct cells, such as this, 35,902 is down here. E5 through E11, it should have been E10. I could just click in here, edit it. And then all I have to do now is copy these two, this cell here, paste it over here. So I've got the information. If I want to do any formatting, I could highlight rows and stuff. And like these here, make it bold. And then I could put borders around specific sections, such as this, like this. I could put some thick borders around here, so that way when I print it out, I have something that looks presentable that way if you're managing accounts for the Rockefellers or whoever or yourself you can have it presented attractively so it shows the purchase current information the next thing down here when we go into the section down here as I'm writing this after closing time but if I were to click on this red exclamation point it will refresh the data it'll give us the new prices unfortunately it also always narrows the columns here, so I can just go here, widen this just a little bit here, narrow that. Last thing that I want to mention, if you're on these little things here, bright blue, what does that mean? It means it is a link. So if I were to click on a little link, let's say for chart for Procter & Gamble, it's going to take me into this window here where it's showing information about it, showing a graph, what's going on. It's got these lines going through here, and it's showing the uh, past year. I could make it a three-year chart. Just clicked on the three-year in there and go down here. It's showing the past three years. It has been doing well. It also brings us in MSN to other information here. You could click on it and you can find many links which you will find very useful. I could close out of this window. It brings me back to the spreadsheet. So I've got the information that I could print out and save, use it for analysis purposes.